Malo, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 11 of Breakfast Bites by TableForSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on this bright and sunny Wednesday morning, 11th January 2023. Coming to you from the paradise on the 180th meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And we start again with boxing, where Victoria Lee, a rising mixed martial arts fighter who competed under the One Championship Management Team, died on 26 December at just 18 years old. No cause of death was given. Her sister, Angela Lee, is the current atom weight champion, while brother Christian Lee holds the lightweight title. Victoria had a three-win, no-loss record. Rest in peace, sister. And in Rugby League, three clubs are still in the race to sign Eel superstar Mitchell Moses, while the Tigers reportedly, with the Tigers rather, reportedly tabling $1.3 million per season, uh, Australian dollars that is, and the Bulldogs have also tabled Australian $1.2 million per season. While the Eels offer sits just above the million dollar mark. So who will Mitch choose? Despite the new higher salary cap uh, announced uh, several weeks ago now by the NRL, the Panthers have not yet tabled a new contract to gun tour Samoa centre Stephen Crichton. The Bulldogs and the Dolphins are interested in signing Crichton at a much higher salary. However, he is uh, caught between um, the money and his family and is willing to take a significant pay cut to stay back out west in Sydney. I just uh, have to ask... um, about the poor treatment that the NRL clubs give to these uh, Pacific Island players. In American college football, Georgia rolled to its second consecutive U.S. college football national championship with a brutal 65-7 victory over fairytale side Texas Christian Union on uh, Texas Christian University on Tuesday. It was the largest margin of victory in any bowl game ever. The Horned Frogs were big underdogs heading into the game, having upset Michigan just to make it into the title match. After going from uh, five uh, wins and seven losses last year to 12-1 and under new coach Sonny Dykes, but they were no match for the Bulldogs. In Rugby Union, word around town in Suva, Fiji, about the real reason Semi Serubakula, Semi Rusi Serubakula, uh, has stepped down as head coach of the uh, Fiji Anandrua. Um, it's very sad, really, because they all worked so hard, the team and officials, the players and officials, to achieve amazing success in their debut season in Australia, and now when they need to build on it, he's out the door. In sports business, if you think Qatar was crazy building six new stadiums for the FIFA World Cup, plus other public infrastructure at a cost of US $300 billion, the 2029 Asian Winter Games is even more crazy. It'll be held in Trojena, a futuristic Saudi Arabian megacity, that looks like something straight out of a James Cameron film. And get this, the city doesn't actually exist yet. It is part of a US $500 billion smart city project. I am truly gobsmacked. Winter Olympics in Saudi Arabia? In a city that doesn't even exist? In like seven years time? For TableForSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Mahalo, vina a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you would like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bite. And thank you all too much for all your love and support.